Frank Shaibu tell Nigerians to be aware of President Timubu's propaganda plot. Yeah, we have seen actually that Nigeria has slided into a new level of propaganda in politics. So the APC is doing that so much. And when other parties respond, they say it is those parties that are causing it. So now I think I saw a message that came out a few days ago that APC has set up a new propaganda machine or a new propaganda team that are going to go on the next level of political propaganda in Nigeria. So I don't know how true that is, but look at what Frank Shaibu is saying here, warning all Nigerians to be aware of, um, you know, Tinubu's uh, propaganda plots. Um, so let's go into the details. Mr. Frank Shaibu, a spokesman for Atiku Abubakar, the People Democratic Party candidate for the president in the February 25, 2023 election, has warned Nigerians by alleging that President Bola Tinubu is preparing a propaganda campaign in the near future. Frank Shaibu, um, Atiku Special Assistant on Public Communication, reportedly released a statement in Abuja on Sunday in which he claimed the recent fake news about the United Arab Emirates lifting its visa ban was only the start of a much larger series of events to take place. Oh boy. He asserted that President Bola Tinubu has already taken steps in the direction of this strategy by appointing more than 15 media assistants whose main responsibility is to spread false information as an official, as an official government tactic in an effort to distract Nigerians' attention from the serious difficulties brought on by his administration. Atiku Aid said, from information available to us, Bola Tinubu is set up uh, to push propaganda to overdrive, to overdrive as he heads out for the United Nations General Assembly meeting in New York. He will claim to have attracted foreign investment uh, amounting to $100 billion dollars but we fail to provide key details. It is all propaganda. It is all a load of baloney. In India, he claimed they had received pledges of over $14 billion, just as his predecessor, President Muhammad Ubari, claimed in 2018 that he had secured pledges of up to $6 billion. This is not but audio investment. <laughs> ah, this is a very good one. So, yeah, um, Tinubu went to uh, went for summit in India and said he had attracted about $14 billion of uh, pledges. And now from there, he went to Abu Dhabi, the capital of UAE, and said uh, just by that visit, he has resolved the issue with the UAE government and they have lifted the ban on Nigerian travelers or visitors to UAE, only to come back and find that all of them were fabu. They were not true. And even the UAE government has come out to debunk it to say status quo remains the same, meaning that no ban has been lifted. Nigerians can travel. But some Nigerians were arguing it while some are saying um, it is true because of their affiliation with APC. And then it has a way of resolving that some people were encouraged to go and make UAE visa and see if they will be given. So in all of that put together now, Tinubu has gone to New York in the United States for the United Nations General Assembly. And uh, now Frank Shaibu is warning all Nigerians to beware and watch out as it's coming out. He might tell you he has attracted $100 billion uh, pledge or he has attracted the foreign investors to Nigeria. Meanwhile, he probably did not discuss anything of such over there. So I said he has employed a lot of people uh, who are going to be his propaganda machines, uh, people that are going to be releasing statements as if they are government officials to distract Nigerians from the problem that the APC has put all of us. This is a very good news um, coming. And we know that APC has been a party of propaganda from the beginning. In fact, politicians live by propaganda. It looks like propaganda is their lifeline. So I don't know who to be trusted, but it's unfortunate that Nigerians or rather Nigerian politicians have chosen a part of lying to the citizens to maintain their position. 
So people think people who do not know or who are not aware will just hear the news and say they are doing well. Meanwhile, nothing is happening. Okay. So obviously they are not doing well. There are a few comments here coming for a few individuals. Somebody say they know him very well, and that warning was apt. Exactly, Mister Frank. What you are saying is Frank. Abby, that is the truth. Uh, so rumor monger is not a rumor monger. The Northern leader should call article to order so that his actions will not hinder the Northern chance of producing the president call 2031. Nothing. This is an opposition propaganda telling us nothing more than fake news. Being a news hunter distributor, your post is disappointing. Can you imagine? He's saying the truth now. With all the movement that Tinubu made in India and UAE, has he not shown? It has shown now. Beware President Tinubu for what? If it is your favorite man, eh? be president. Would you say so? Please allow this to work. I know you don't have sense with your boss. Who people can imagine? You, Frank Shaibu, the political jobber, are the kind of propaganda you have no shame for. Where somebody said you're a fool, Mumu face. How you will manage your school? How did you manage your school? Eh? Be out, no chance for because no chance for you people to loot Nigeria. That is why your uh, your seminar principal is angry. Hmm. The tears of a frustrated man wait for your turn. Oga Frank Shaibu, can you imagine? Somebody said, I believe if this man is a lover of Nigeria, despite being in another political party or being at court to clarify if they were truly winners or not, what he would have done now would have been to sell ideas to the present government to see how they could put this right now. The same way he is publishing, telling people about the government propaganda, okay, would have been the same way he should have published good advice to the government for for we Nigerians. Hmm. Okay, those ones are your own. Okay, somebody say LOP 77, get lost, bitter, soul loser. This is not LOP now. <laughs> this is not about LOP now. Eh? So, uh, somebody say, personally, I was shocked when they came saying that the United Arab Emirates authorities have refuted the claim that they have lifted their visa ban placed on Nigerians. So many people, including my humble self, sent congratulations to the government when we heard the news that claimed the visa ban had been lifted. For where? Only to find out that it's a propaganda. <laughs> it's true. So we never can tell. Uh, we never can tell. So, so many people here are trying to blast uh, Frank Shaibu to say he should face his business. He's carrying a fake news. He's also carrying a propaganda. So he should face his business. But, well, the truth is that everything APC has said, none has come to pass. The only thing that has come to pass is putting more hardship on people, and that is continuing from where Buhari stopped by suffering the people. So we really need to be careful because even the so-called palliative, we've not seen it moving the, just in the news. Uh, a lot of people, some government officials have started issuing palliatives, but how adequate is the palliative, and how far have they gone? Nothing is happening. Nigeria is still in their need of a better leader, whether I would like it or not. So thank you for listening and I'll have your comment.